Welcome back to the Southampton career mode. It's going to be the final season of this save as we look to concentrate on Formula One content here on the second channel in the near future. Both F123 and F1 Manager 23 as well. Thank you for the support on that video, by the way. Very, very encouraged by the fantastic showing on that F1 Manager 23 uh, beta video. And if you are keen on seeing more, so do hit that subscribe button and uh, we will bring you F1 Manager content in... Well, less than a week or so, probably, to be completely honest. We're not that far away at all. We are looking to sell Ollie Watkins in this window. We are looking to buy another striker. I have a number of names on my shortlist, brought to you by the Twitch live chat, as there weren't any suggestions by name in the previous episode. You guys, however, did let me know that you would like me to sell Ollie, and you did leave your thumbs up as well, so appreciate that. Thank you very much indeed. Martin Terrier is an option, although we're waiting for a scout report. We also have Mohamed Ali Cho, Colin Mawani, Randy Nteka, Luis Appenda, Marcus Thuram, Noah Okafor, Beto and Balogun, as well as Ferreira and Richarlison. We're leaning towards a player that is only going to be used for six months, so... Understandably, I'm not really looking for someone like Benjamin Sheshko or like the more long-term options. Uh, eh, one up. Uh, we're not looking to let anyone go. Sorry, not looking to sign anyone that is more than someone that I would want to use for more than six months. Obviously, I'd like to just sign someone that I can buy, will immediately do a job and help us win something in a cup form this season. We are in the knockout stages of the European a tournament we're involved in the Europa League still waiting for that to be drawn we are 10 points off the top of the Premier League table so I'm going to prioritize here on cup football so we're aiming for a cup treble this year we'll play Arsenal we'll play Manchester United in the cup we'll sim Manchester United in the league and Fulham away in the league as well as we prioritize here in this final season at Southampton so uh, actually they're starting on it looks like it's pretty solid from there so we won't even bother trying to uh, Move it around a little bit and ensure that they're putting out their strongest 11. Because I think, actually, by default, they already have put out their strongest 11. In the Premier League, Southampton versus Manchester United. Of course, please do drop the video a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more content. Whether that be the remainder of this final season at Southampton or, of course, any of the F1 stuff on its way to you. Football Manager will return, of course, at launch later in the year as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that when the time comes. But for now, we're concentrating on this. There will be more F1 tomorrow, of course. Don't score, I'm getting dressed. Oh, God, we scored. <laughs> we scored. Conor Gallagher gives us a 1-0 lead against Manchester United, literally, as I'm like, wait a minute. He went and put it in the back of the net. All right, I don't mind. If it's us scoring, that's fine. Sorry for any boobage you might have seen. Probably down the line. We're in. We're in with the right back. Oh, Serginho could have sealed three points against Man United here at home. Oh, and as it happens, up the other end, Victor Osman has gone and scored an equaliser for them. Well, that's a pain in the arse. Could have made it 2-0. And we switch off out of frustration for missing the chance and find ourselves pegged back. Inside. Come on. Let's win it at the death. Let's win it at the death. Serginho, find the pass this time, please, pal. Oh, he did find a pass, but the whistle went before anyone could shoot. It's a 1-1 draw against Manchester United. City also draw. So the gap to the top is still 10. It's not uncatchable, certainly. And if by the time we get towards the end of the season, we stand a chance of closing Manchester City, then we will put some emphasis back on the league. But at the minute, I'd love to do an FA Cup, Carabao Cup and Europa League treble. Of course, we won the uh, Europa Conference League last year in this save. We'd like to add to that trophy haul if we can. He's a big boy. Southampton versus Arsenal on the way next. Arsenal with Ramsdale in goal for this FA Cup tie. Nordi Mukiele, Nicolo Casale, Jakob Kivior and Roman Perro uh, at the back for them. Perro, obviously a former Southampton player. Coupe Mainage, Erdegaard and Partey in the middle with Martinelli, Saka and Jesus as the front three. Arsenal pretty strong. We've had to rotate a little bit. Few players out, few players in. Oli Watkins actually being one of the most notable ones for what might be his last game in a Southampton shirt. Hopefully, he and his fellow teammates can help us progress to the next round of the FA Cup. Inside to Conor Gallagher. Around the corner nicely. Go on then, Oli. Oli. Oh, that's why we're selling you. Oh, and Hickey's done well. And back here is Oli Watkins. Still, Oli could have something to say. 
He's trying. He's failing. Still got the ball in a dangerous area, though. Connor Gallagher. Back heel. Through the gap. Finds Oli. Oli! Connor! Someone! No. New foot blast. Oh, great footwork. Oli, Oli. No, Oli, get a bit deeper in the box, pal. I can't cross it there. The game doesn't let me. Gallagher looking for Oli Watkins around the corner. Nicolo Rivella is sat up beautifully, and what a goal! Aaron Ramsdale at full stretch. No chance. 1 0 Southampton in the fight to get through to the knockout. To the knockout stages. The FA Cup's a knockout competition, Chess. Through to the next round of this knockout tournament. It just it beautifully popped up off his right foot to then slam with the left. That's a wonderful goal. Sorry, Mr. Ramsdale. No chance of saving that. 1 0 Saints. Coop Manus. Oh, through the gap well. Martin Erdegaard. Nice tackle by Salisu. Mm, it's going to bounce free. Here's Bikai Saka. Coop Manus. Gabby Jesus. Did the keeper touch it? He must have done. Behind for an Arsenal corner. And Martinelli ignores Saka in front of him. Ollie Watkins half clears. Conor Gallagher makes short. Into Conor Gallagher. Could find Ollie Watkins around the corner. Maybe should have looked for Ibrahim out wide. In real life... For a few years in a row, Southampton seems to be a bit of a bogey team for Arsenal. Didn't they in the Premier League? Always seem to pop up with the result against them. Ollie Watkins with what could be a parting gift. Southampton are Arsenal's bogey team again. This time in the FA Cup, not the Premier League. It's 2-0 Saints. That's a lovely ball out to Perro. Gabby is there down the line. Gabby is found. Oh, and he's brilliantly gotten away from Salisu. And into the middle. And Erdegaard, captain fantastic for Arsenal once again. Buries the ball in the back of the net. Goes to pick it up because he knows the job's not done yet. They need more. Um, That was two-footed as fuck from Pukai Saka. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure that should be a red card. That's a red card. I don't care whether he's won the ball or not. That is endangering a, an opponent's safety. That is the lunge. He's jumped about two metres. He let, he leaves the ground there with his left foot and lunges. That's... Ref, you've bottled that. That is a straight red card challenge. Disgusting from Bakayo Saka. Don't care whether he won the ball. That is outrageously poor from both he and the referee. I like the fact that challenges like that are in the game. What I don't like is when they go unpunished. Jesus Christ, he could have killed someone. Erdogan. Jesus. You see where he wants to go out wide, but Erdogan is available in the middle. I see, it might not even be Erdogan, actually. No, there's Erdogan. Who's that new blondie in the middle? Oh, here's Erdogan. Bottom corner. Forget who that one blondie is. It's the main blondie we need to worry about. Erdegaard at the double. It's Coop Mainers that was the man running through the middle. Distracts me. I mean, in that much space. Oh, it's criminal marking. And we've thrown away a 2-0 lead here in the FA Cup. We said we didn't want to replay. Saka's at it again. He should have gotten a red for the first challenge. I bet the referee doesn't even give him a booking for that one either. I've never wanted to beat Bukayo Saka more. Watkins. Little one-two. Come on, Ollie. I'll steal the show, Ollie Watkins. Ah! You could have stolen the show, Ollie. You didn't. Ravella. Sulemana. James Will Prowse is there. Good footwork. And a nice ball. Ollie. Again. Steal the headlines. Ollie! I've given you every opportunity to prove why you should stay at the club. And you scored a hat-trick and made us question it. But you have just missed two of the most clear-cut chances you've ever had in your career to win a game with minimal time remaining. And you fluffed both of them, not even hit the target with either. And we will, at the very least, not yet go through in the FA Cup. Potentially even, maybe, go out. Nope. We're not through yet. We will have a replay against Arsenal in the fourth round of the FA Cup. And Ollie Watkins could certainly have sealed the deal. But unfortunately, 
No. Sunderland one, Cardiff nil. Any uh, shocks in there? Sheffield United two, Leicester one. I think is maybe not a shock, but certainly an unexpected result. Manchester United next in the Carabao Cup is a game we shall play. A bid for Ollie Watkins from Aston Villa. Hmm. All right. You can go back from where you came, pal. All go to Brighton. The choice is yours. Ludwig Blass is going nowhere, thank you. I'm waiting on scout reports to come back for a couple of other players. Blass is apologising for the way the last game went. We'll just skip the press conference and let's head to Old Trafford. Man United, David De Gea in goal for them. Chetrauda, Skriniar, Botman and Ben White. Yusuf Fofana, Bruno Guimaraes and Dawson Minton in the midfield. Anthony, Rashford, Ossiman, the front three. Intriguingly, Dawson in the RTG save ended up at Manchester City. Apparently he's got a, uh, a draw to the city of Manchester, but not necessarily a preference as to which of the two sides he plays for. We're away from home again. We have a 1-0 lead at least this time to lean on from the first leg. The opportunity to get ourselves to Wembley for a cup final lies in front of us. Oh, nice tackle from Ben White. Just some about to play the pass. Quick ball from Osman. It's very good for Rashford too. Then back around the corner. Oh, they're playing brilliant football here, Manchester United. And... Up until the moment Bruno Guimaraes gave the ball away, he thought that was destined for the back of the net. As it happens, they've actually committed a lot of bodies forward here, and they might be in trouble. Smithrow, Blass, out to Kieran Tierney. They've recovered with numbers now, United, but can they recover well enough to stop us from having the opportunity at least to take the lead? Ludovic Blass finds some space, but can't find the target. Do we go? We will. Tierney, Gianluca Scamacca, he could do with... Showing Ollie Watkins a thing or two. Smith Rowe with the ball back to him. Ah, I probably shouldn't have tried for that. Oh, I nearly got to that though. It was a bit brave. Tierney intercepts Anthony's first ball. Then wipes the Brazilian out. Sorry about that, mate. Play continues. Down the other side now through Marcus Rashford. Osimhen arriving at pace in the middle. We just drew 1-1 in a sinned game in the league against Man United. So we know they can score against us. But they know we can score against them as well. Fafana. Oh, surely Bruno from there. No. Wow. That should be 1-0 to Manchester United. <laughs> Blast tried to get out of the way and still ended up deflecting it the wrong way. Suleimana, that was an unnecessary piece of flamboyance, but we get away with it. Ravello again. Suleimana was begging for it. Let's find out why. Oh, get there first. Ludovic. Oh, he should have played the extra pass. I had such confidence in Blast. To turn that home. I didn't play the extra ball. David De Gea, I should have known. Is excellent with his feet. Forward into Smith Rowe. Conor Gallagher. Oh, what a ball. And what a take and turn. Skamaka! Oh, makes me sad. Oh, he's Rashford in the box. Mark oh, he's done me. He dropped the shoulder. Thought he was going to pull the trigger. Position myself to block it. And uh, he didn't shoot. He's turned again. He's done me. And Manchester United are level on aggregate. Suleiman, is he going to go again? We're only... Just because we're losing the game doesn't mean we're going out of the cup. Because we're still level on aggregate. This time we will go for the extra pass. And it'll work. Emil Smith-Rowe restores our aggregate lead. We fire back immediately. 2-1 over the course of two legs so far. To the Saints. Rashford. Ossiman. Rashford again. Oh, fingertip stuff from Lovakovic, but he makes the save. Ben White. Back to Anthony. Inside to Bruno Guimaraes. Nice intercept from, intercept from apparently, by Ravella. And Skamaka's away. He was calling for it. Milan Skriniar's going to try and close me down. He's not quick acceleration-wise, Skamaka. But once he gets going, he can be pretty uncatchable. And you never know, we might be uncatchable now on aggregate in the tie with a 3-1 overall lead. 2-1 on the night. Manchester United need two more goals just to take us to penalties. We are hopefully headed to Wembley. I can get to that. I'm going to get to that. Go on, Camel Dean, lad. Oh, the keeper's out. I just noticed he keepers out of his net. Oh, are you serious, Suleimana? Are you actually serious? My man can't kick a ball three yards. I can't believe it. I, it took me a little while to acknowledge that David Ayer was out of his goal. And then the shot from Suleimana is so badly scuffed that he probably wouldn't even reach the goal, even if 
Nobody had intercepted it. It probably would have stopped halfway. I can't believe that, Campbell Dean. You've let yourself down, mate. He's been so frustratingly average, Campbell Dean Suleimana. Skamaka's not average, though. He's very bloody good. 3 1 on the night, 4 1 on aggregate. Get me to Wembley. That's us through to the final. Kieran Tierney celebrating with Dominic Lovakovic and Luke Shaw. Between them, they did enough defensively, but they could have done less than they did defensively. And because of the fantastic goal scoring opportunities we created at the other end, we could have conceded one or two more and still gone through. I don't know who we have in the final, actually. It will be either. Well, let's let's have a look, shall we? Manchester City 4, Spurs 1 after one leg. I think it's going to be Manchester City we have in the final. If it is Spurs, then they've done outrageously well. Heading on towards transfer deadline day here as Ollie Watkins now officially leaves us to go to Brighton. He's chosen not to go back to Aston Villa. He's going to move just further down the south coast from Southampton to Brighton, not moving too far with regards his geographical location. On to transfer deadline day we go. I actually haven't had full scout reports back on a number of the players on my shortlist, frustratingly. So we're still waiting to see exactly how good some people are. So we're gonna have to make a little bit of an uninformed decision in some areas, but I'm sure we'll be fine. I am sorely tempted by Lewis Appender, mainly because he's a player that has just moved in real life from uh, Lons to Leipzig. So at the beginning of FC24, he won't be readily available as a player to use. But similarly, Marcus Turam has just made a move in real life as well. Can't remember off the top of my head where it is that he actually went, but I know that he's moved and he will be unavailable season one in FC24 as well. And Turam is bigger. Appenda offers something completely different to uh, Skamaka, but... He's kind of pace and a finish and not much. He's not very good in possession, is he, Lewis Appender? Was Marcus Turam also has a finesse shot trait. Is that the outside the boot shot? Has the outside foot trait as well. He's got pace and he's better on the ball, but not quite as good in the finish. I'm going to go for Marcus Turam because at some point we might well end up losing Lewis Appender in FC24. Obviously, it won't be season one because he's just moved to Leipzig, but later down the line, because he's three years younger, there is more opportunity to use him in another save. Whereas Marcus Turam is probably not a player I'd really ever look to use down the line. So I'm going to look to buy Marcus Turam from Nice. They reckon I could get him for about 42. We've got over 100 available to us. We already have Skamaka as our number one striker. And quite frankly, Marcus Turam would be a great option off the bench. Money's no object to an extent for us with regards to this deal. Uh, we could spend all of our... We could afford to pay his release clause and still have more of our budget left. So Marcus Turam looks like he's going to be the man to come in then. We are signing a new striker for the remainder of this fourth and final season. He wants important. If he'll sign rotation, that'd be great. But I don't know as he will. He won't. It will be rotation for Marcus Turam. Player with his own face in game, which is always nice to have not essential for me i know it is for a number of you guys but nice to have and you can have whatever you want a week wage wise my friend marcus turam is in we have ourselves a new striker and one final signing this year inter that's where we went in real life inter milan thank you very much chat 53 and a half million pounds he's not going to inter milan here he's coming to us and actually He's quite usable as well because he's available in a, a number of different positions. He can play out wide too. Balogun was a player on our shortlist who has actually now just moved to Arsenal there. I think I just accidentally removed one of the Patreon guys. I apologise for that. I shall uh, replace whoever it was I just removed uh, before we end the season. Right, let's do transfer. Oh no, we've got to sim this game against Fulham first. Then we can end the transfer window. Actually, let's put Marcus Turam on the bench because certainly not going to be playing Gavin Pizzunu up top at striker, am I? We take the lead, Ludovic Blas in the 11th minute. It's Southampton 1, Fulham 0. Fulham equalised to Hussam Alwar, just as Manchester United ensured that we didn't take a win in the Premier League. It looks like Fulham might be doing the same. Frustratingly, with 11 minutes to go, we, for a second Premier League game in a row, haven't been able to hold on to a clean sheet nor a 1-0 lead. Can we on this occasion get a lead once again? Not if Kolar has anything to say about it. 
in goal for Fulham. Oh, still no opportunity for a second goal. And it looks like we're going to draw 1-1 again in the Prem. So as we progress in both cup competitions... Oh, no! We very nearly lose to Fulham as that bobbled free and was smothered up on the line. Wow, that was very close indeed. Oh, dear. We're down to seventh in league. I'm not sure if that actually counts. No, yeah, see, fifth. So we are down to seventh. No, we are up to fifth. That says seventh, 23 games played, 41 points. That says 42 points. So we're up, we are up to fifth. But the gap is now 12 to Manchester City at the top of the table. I think we've done the right thing in focusing on uh, focusing on cup competition. Ravella is growing, which is great. We do need to add a development plan to uh, our new signing, Marcus Turan. Fresno Kimbembe's moved to West Ham on deadline day for £50.2 million as well. Adam Hojek moves to Inter, which is where Marcus Turan has gone, IRL. Uh, any other big ones going through? Not yet. Oh, no. Kent Taylor from Freiburg to... Real Sociedad, that's an interesting one, can leave £50 million. Harry Kane to Bayern Munich. Well, how's that for a rumour for realism? See if it goes through. Tom has moved to Patreon player from Lecce to Sporting. So still continually Patreon players moving about. And Kane does go to Bayern. £72.4 million. Harry Kane is a Bayern Munich man. Probably not in real life. But in virtual, it's gone through. Fran Garcia to Liverpool, perhaps. Moises Ramirez going to Villarreal. Nicolas Sula to Barcelona for 65. That's now the second biggest deal on deadline day. Fran Garcia does go to Liverpool. Zemanski goes to PSG. Moussa Barrow to Betis for a similar fee. And that is that. War Prowse apparently rumoured with Dortmund, but that's not happening. So let's show you all of the biggest deals in the transfer window thus far then. And then we can uh, we can round out the transfer uh, window from there. So biggest deals in this window were not any of those giant ones. Uh, first one was Kirkju for 80.4 from Liverpool to Fiorentina. AJ's moved to Sevilla, so I moved for a Patreon player. I will update the... Uh, the spreadsheet for the end of the season so don't worry that we're not going to show it today Harry Kane moves to Bayern uh, Jordan Falls moves to Juve another move in uh, the January window for a Patreon player Udinese have sold Sunset to Wolves that happened in between windows uh, Kingsley Command goes to Real Madrid again in between windows Sula we saw uh, Tom White we saw Carlos Soler goes to Liverpool for 57.9 million pounds. Not many deals. Marcus Turam to us, obviously. Kevin De Bruyne goes to Milan for still 50 plus million at 34 years of age and 88 rated. He's still very, very good. Uh, Cherky moves to Sassuolo in between windows. Unai Simon goes to Napoli in between. Uh, Quentin Timber goes to Wolfsburg. Sangari to Frankfurt. Vanderson did move in the end on deadline day, was rumoured throughout. 51.1 million pounds to Manchester United. Kimpembe we saw. And that is that for the transfer window. So as we progress then for the remainder of the season, we've Manchester City in the Carabao Cup. We've a replay against Arsenal in the FA Cup. And we will take it from there. The Europa League knockouts will be drawn very shortly. We, of course, are in the round of 16. We need the round of 32 to be played first. But for today, that is all from me. Do drop the video like and subscribe to the channel. Do come and follow me on Twitch, link in the description down below. Do enjoy the F1 content that will come to you moving forward continually as well. That's all from me for today though. Thank you very much for waiting for this next episode of the Southampton Karimud. I appreciate it very much. I will see you in the next one in a couple of days. F1 tomorrow. Bye-bye.